Today I'm going to show you how to use a macro extension tube with your micro four thirds camera to create images like these. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. It's summer, the leaves are out, the insects are out, and it's time to shoot macro photography. Today we're gonna to take a look specifically at our Micro Four Thirds macro extension tube. Uh, this is basically a metal tube that goes between your Micro Four Thirds camera and lens, and by putting extra space between your lens and camera, you're able to turn any lens into a macro lens. Let me show you how it works. Now this is our standard micro four thirds macro extension tube and this is the full length of the macro tube. So this is how much length you need for the most powerful macro focus. Now we don't need this much length so we can actually unscrew the front where the lens goes and we can take off part of it. I'm going to take off this 28 millimeter piece. We don't need this piece. Set that aside. We're just going to go with the 14 mil and the 7 mil. That should give us enough macro focus for what we need. We're gonna take our micro four thirds lens, this is a little 15 millimeter pancake lens, off the camera and mount the lens to the front. And then we're simply going to line up the red dot on the macro extension tube with the red dot on the camera and mount it to the camera. And like I said before, by putting the extra space between the camera and lens, this lens will no longer focus to infinity. It won't focus far away. It will only focus super close up. It'll only focus on subjects about an inch away from the lens. And this is great for shooting macro photography, you know, photos of plants and insects. Now, if you're using a macro extension tube and you find the lens is focusing too close for what you want, you can always remove another spacer. You could remove this 14 millimeter get the lens a little bit closer to the sensor so you're not focusing as macro. So it really just depends on the subject you're focusing on, how close you need to focus, uh, how much you want to crop in on the subject. So you just want to experiment with different lengths until you find the setup that works for you. Okay, we've got our macro extension tube between our lens and camera. Let's go take some macro photos and see what we can create. Here's some of my favorite photos I captured with this setup. Here is a green leaf, and I love this angle because it almost makes it look like it's a pillow. It just looks really, really comfy. This is the interior of a white flower. You can see all the amazing detail of inside the flower where the pollen is. And these are needles on a pine tree. It's amazing the kind of detail you can get with a macro lens. This is a beautiful brown speckled fly. Now flies are pretty gross, but it is amazing when you get a macro lens on them. The amount of detail on these little guys is, is beautiful. And this is a little larva, ugly little guy, but he's got this great metallic blue tint to him. And this was a tiny, tiny little larva, but once again, getting my macro lens up on him, I was able to get a really nice detailed shot. This is an assassin bug. This guy was hard to photograph. He kept moving. Uh, as you can see, he's very alert looking right at my lens. Here's a daddy long legs. Not that happy that I'm getting so close up on it. Looks like it's about ready to strike. And I'm not sure what this is. It's kind of like a mixture of a slug and uh, some sort of prehistoric creature. And I love the green texture of the leaf it was on, plus that beautiful bokeh in the background. Here's a little weevil. Love the detail on this little guy. He was on a leaf that was blowing in the wind, so it was hard to get an in-focus shot. And here's a jumping spider. It's kind of hard to tell <laughs> that it's a jumping spider because it's got a big something or other in its mouth. I think it is a dead fly that it captured and killed. And that's one of the fun things about macro photography. You capture these bugs in the middle of their day, and that includes them out hunting for food. If you'd like to learn more about our Micro Four Thirds macro extension tubes, click the link in the description below. And we don't just carry macro gear for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Uh, we have macro extension tubes for pretty much any kind of camera you can imagine, plus lots of other macro accessories. So click the link in the description below to learn more about those as well. If you have any questions about anything I said in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy macro photography.